Hey, what's up, you guys? Warning, this is another MacBook video. I'm sorry, my camera is like effed. It's either the card or the camera at this time. Um, but I wanted to do this because I always buy stuff. I literally went on a $10,000 shopping spree like a couple, like a month ago, and I was like, oh, I'm gonna just haul it and show everybody. Never did, just start wearing the stuff. So if I don't do this now, I'm packing it all up. It's the night before we leave Chicago. I just got back from the Views Tour, which was awesome. So proud of Jason and David, of course. <laughs> they had their show, and it was really cool to see everybody and all the friends. And I got to go on stage tonight. So it was really cool. I mean, you really excited for my tour. Date's coming soon. I promise. Okay. Um, so I'm just going to show you guys some of the stuff I got while here in Chicago. Um, and I'm going to go through it rather quickly. I really want to go show you my Louis Vuitton stuff. But uh, this was, I got this. This thing didn't have in New York or L.A. It says immigrants who get the job done. I spilled Diet Coke on it somewhere. So I haven't been able to wear, but I think it's dry now, which I thought was really cool. I thought I had all the Hamilton merch you could get, but apparently there was more. Other Hamilton stuff, I got the Washington, Hamilton, Jefferson, Madison, Washington, and Burr tote. I got the hat. So I haven't seen any of these three things at any of the other shows I've been to, so I think I have everything now. That was my last day of this week. My dad was a pug tonight, by the way, which was really cool. I got to see John Samuels again, which was very cool, and I... Finally felt like I was close enough to ask for a picture because I've seen him a few times and I never want to like bother him for a picture. But he took a couple of selfies, so I was like, okay, I want to take one too. I want to get him. Um, so he's so sweet. I love like it's crazy how like nice he is. Like it's insane because he's like a huge star and he's always just so freaking nice. Um, so yeah, I got these socks. <laughs> this is real exciting. I just need new socks. I wore them. I had blisters on the back of my feet, which actually are still there, but I didn't see fancy. Oh, I also got these pants. They just say Chicago. And I got the Cub shirt you guys saw in a mukbang, or you will see in a mukbang. I wore these shoes tonight. These are by a Jeffrey Campbell. They had just gotten these new into Nordstrom, and I love them. They're these, like, platform. They're they're comfortable to, an, a, like, an extent, um, but I have thicker calves, so it was kind of cutting my calves up here, but they're really cute, but I would wear tall socks with these. Just saying. And I got a bunch of socks just because, like, I'm, I literally lose socks and run out of socks and need socks all the time, like, and I can never find socks. I don't – I have no idea what that is, but – that's the thing. There's like so much boring stuff in Target that I might run through or may not. This is the Jeffrey Campbell box. It's cute, but I'm probably won't talk about that. She's literally, literally a waste of space. <laughs> um, okay. So Nordstrom, I got a couple of Balenciaga bags that were really, really cute. And they literally were on display. Like, displaying stuff literally, I mean, I'm sure stores obviously knows why they do that. Like, I, I'll, they, I'll always buy something on display as opposed to something, like, online. Like, it just, like, something just catches your eye. And when something catches my eye, I just know it's cute. I got this cute little Burberry bag. Um, I've been loving little structure bags like this. My one I've been carrying in Chicago is this, like, Playboy one. It's a Marc Jacobs one I'm obsessed with. So, I got this one, which is even smaller. But it's big enough inside. Um, like, a big enough opening. To like put your cam my, my, my camera that doesn't work and my if you guys by the way if you guys have any recommendations for vlogging cameras or you guys know vloggers that use really nice cameras please let me know jason and david use this like avd that's like really big it looks like a paparazzi camera so i don't want something like that but if you guys know any like cute point and shoot ones i don't know what the new one everyone is using is i had the canon g7x and to be on it i think that's what i had was that sony i don't know to be honest, I should just go back to that because Jason was very nice and got me my Sony for my birthday, but it just, it, like, I've, I've had three of them. Like, they break really easily, and they just never seem to work or record. It could be my card. I'm going to try and change cards when I go home. I literally got more socks from Target. Like, I'm a sock crazy person. I got underwear. Oh, Jason's deodorant. Oops. <laughs> that really came in handy. He uses my female deodorant. That's so funny. Such a silly man. I love him. I got some undies from Target, which is so exciting. I got this bralette from Target, which might not fit, but it might. I loved the color. It was, like, super bright. Um, oh, God, my stomach hurts really bad all of a sudden. Ooh, like a sharp pain. Uh, then this other bag I got from Nordstrom. Another Balenciaga Moose. I should actually carry this on the plane. Easier stuffing it in my bag and getting it smushed but it's really really cute this is probably bigger than, I have a Hamilton backpack that I always bring on the plane but it's not get too dirty this is brand new but it's a huge bag as you can tell just giant size and you can just like throw so much stuff in it so 
yeah, I really like that. So I got like two, pretty much two extreme bags. Uh, and then this is, a, this is a third extreme bag. This is my Louis Vuitton. Louis Vuitton. And um, it's the Pichette. Pichette? Pichette. I have no idea. My mom will tell me if I throw this out. So I need to fold this nicely and pack up my bag. Because my mom loves these kind of bags. Like Gucci Louis Vuitton. Um, and that's what that looks like. Louis Vuitton. Is that a cute thumbnail or not? Like, oh, my Chicago. Oh, yeah, it has felt that bad. <sighs> tonight and I'm hungry. I ate so much for lunch. I thought I was still full but it's like 9.30 here. So this is like a medium sized one. This is like a perfect every day one. This is pretty pretty amazing. I've always wanted one of these. I think they're called Pochette. Pochette. I don't know that's how I'm pronouncing it. I could be so wrong. Please correct me. I pronounce everything wrong. I always wanted one. I thought about getting the pink one. I thought about getting the regular standard one but I saw this one with patches and I just really liked this a lot. I just I don't know. I thought it looked a lot more interesting visually. So I got this. It's kind of pinkish inside. It does come with the strap, the shoulder strap, and it's like, it's pretty, it's pretty substantial size. It can fit, I'll show you, I got a wallet that matches it, and it can fit the wallet, and I threw my phone in there too, and so it's pretty good. I think the camera might be a little bulky for this, but why am I feeling that in my room? I don't know. Jason's like, is this just another thing that's going to end up on Poshmark? And I said, oh, that's really cute too. The zipper and the, the top of Alexa's head. So I did actually sell a lot of my Louis Vuitton because I just kind of got over materialistic things for a while. Like, I talked about this, I think, in one of my mukbangs, how, like, I had a break-in and, like, my Chanel's were stolen, like, my Rolex and, like, materialistic things that cost me a lot of money. Well, I just got really over it. I'm like, what does this even mean, you know, to somebody to steal it? What's it even mean to me that I'm getting so upset over this? You know, so I kind of got over things. I do like nice things, and I like to buy it. And if someone steals this, then I guess they need it more than I do. I don't know, but I'm going to use my bags right away. I've been doing that more. Um just because, you know, I, I rarely wore my Rolex. So it's just weird to want to steal it in public and then anyways. Um and then I got this Louis Vuitton cute little box too. A Louis Vuitton wallet, which I really did need a wallet. My cash and my cards are always so loose and they fall out all the time. I literally lost sixty dollars at the fair cash. So I got a matching wallet and I, I never had an envelope wallet from Louis Vuitton, but it matches it pretty close and then it has the little like but these patches are raised up here, which is nice. And then it has this, and you get your cash, and there's your cards, your change. It's kind of a nice little wallet, and it looks like a little envelope, which I think is really cute. I'm just scared to turn around. I'd say you're wrong. <laughs> this room is so messy. Like, I have to start cleaning it up before Jason's at his meeting for you right now. And I know it's going to be like, oh, babe. He's going to get overwhelmed. He doesn't usually, even today, he's told me, like, oh, you should start packing because I think he thinks he's going to take a long time. And I think he's going to get up at 4 a.m., so. Oh, and then I also got a necklace. Oh, my God, I'm just throw this bag away. I don't think I'm going to throw this bag I just got this necklace. It's a gold heart necklace. It was really cute. I love little dainty necklaces. I want to get a cross. I was watching the AC on my apology. I keep bringing up the AC on my, but um, I love her little cross necklace. If anyone knows where that's from, it was gorgeous. I couldn't stop staring at it. But I love little dainty necklaces. I like chunky necklaces too, but I have a lot of those. So it's just gold. And I don't always like need expensive jewelry. This wasn't like too expensive or anything because there's no diamonds or anything. It's not even real gold. It's like gold plated or something that I told me. But yeah. It's nice. Um, but you know, I have a Disneyland necklace that Jason bought me that I love so much and a Playboy necklace that's like so cheap that I wear all the time. So, jewelry is not, like, a huge thing to me. I like nice jewelry. I definitely do. But to me, jewelry as a gift is always just, like, ten times more sentimental to me, whether it's, like, cheap or not. I don't know. Um, I'll put this in the trash pile. Trash. Well, I mean, that was predicted stuff. Um, and then we just got a couple other things. I'm going to just, like, wrap this up because I kind of have some of y'all upset him. I got a bunch of underwears. I'm wearing one of these now. They're Hanes underwear, which is pretty comfy. Hanes, there's some sex toys in there. I got this notebook. I have no idea why. It says this is how I make it happen. It's literally just a notebook that's like plain. I buy. Um, this is our little photo from the Sky Deck at the Willis Tower. We just went. You guys probably saw this on my Instagram, but I always love to buy cheesy little photos. It was really cool, actually. There was a camera really high up. I'm like, okay, skinny angle. I love that. It's really cool. And what else? What else? What else? 
There's some sex toys in here. They're funny. This is uh, You Are the Bacon to My Egg necklace. I had a little Sky Tower pen, which I thought was so cute and funny. I'm a fan of the Apple pen over there. Throw that in my purse. And then I got this mug, which I am going to unwrap, but I'm going to unwrap it anyways. It says, Pizza is my soulmate. I don't know, a little pizza slice in there. I love mugs. I am an avid collector of mugs, so. Anywho, pussy co. <laughs> There's that. Um, I don't know if I can say that, but. Okay. And then Target, I just got this, like, denim jacket. This is, like, so random. This is so not Chicago related, but I got this checkered jacket. It smells kind of funky, actually, but I just undid that. Some extra gum. Oh my god, my, my stomach hurts so bad now. I don't know why. And then these blue. Which is cute. Which actually I think would go with the checkered jacket. I don't know if I have a trip with those at all. Checkered and plaid do not go together, but things are possible in fiction world. Alright guys, that is my Chicago haul. I'm sorry if I was low energy or you can't hear me or whatever. I went through it pretty quickly. I need to start packing. My stomach is killing me. But I love you guys. Um, thank you guys for supporting Jason and David on tour on a views. It was really cool to see. They played a theater that holds like 3,700 people. And I think most of it was sold out. I think there was only like literally oh, a couple hundred seats that weren't. Which was like crazy. It was really crazy to see. That was insane. When I do shows, I play like 500 people. <laughs> like So to see that was so cool. And like I was really proud of Jason and David. But like because, you know, Jason's like a fan of mine. But like I just... I see him as such, like, a, he's so, like, down to earth. He likes to spend time with his kids. And I'm very just, like, I like to sleep. And, like, that kind of person. That it's, like, so weird to see him in that light. And it was really cool to see all that support for him. So, thank you guys for that. And thank you guys for supporting their podcast. I'm a huge fan of their podcast. I listen to it all the time. I listen to it all the time even before we start dating. Like, when I met Jason, I started listening to the podcast. And it would, like, drive me nuts that he would, like, talk about dates. He'd go on with other girls. I'm like, hello. <laughs> I'm right here. All right, guys. I love you. I'll see you soon. And until next time, have a